Okay. I'm going to be making this little tutorial video on um, how to resample audio out of Koala Sampler into AUV3 effects and back into Koala Sampler all at the same time. Um, this is also basically me showing my workflow with Koala. Um, <clears throat> I told a few people online that I would make this video um, and so I'm doing it to the best of my ability. I have so much more respect for people who do YouTube videos um, just based on how difficult it has been for me to getting this little setup I have going on right here set up. Um, I know that the quality is not going to be great. Um, I'm basically recording this on my iPhone and I have a screen recording going on my iPad and I'm going to try to overlay the two to make a final product. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. Um, so in order to do this, you're going to need a program called AUM. It's spelled A-U-M and I'm just going to call it A-U-M for that uh, purpose of just basically how hard that is to say. Um, I don't remember how much it costs in the app store there is a price tag on it um, but if you're into making music on your iPad at all um, even just dabbling around this app is a necessity in my opinion um, the amount you can do on it um, it's just so worth the money um, and I, I know for a fact that whatever the price tag is it is worth so much more than that so I, I definitely encourage you to get it and if you want to do this you need to get it so it's called AUM looks like that um, so, and I'm just going to start a song from scratch, um, basically to just show you this workflow. It's not going to be the best, um, or anything close to it. So, um, basically when you open up the app, it's going to look like this. So you're going to add two audio channels, just like that. Um, and I think a common mistake that people make when they're trying to do this is they will open up Koala in up here in the top left where it says sources. Normally you would open um, something like that here, um, but if you wanna get this done, it's not gonna work because if you do open it there because you need a source for quality uh, to sample, like when, as you're trying to resample, resampling is a source of audio basically. So you can't open it there. You're gonna to wanna to open it right below here where it says inserts and effects. Um, this is normally where you're gonna insert audio effects, um, but we're gonna open up quality here. Okay, and then basically you're going to do the exact same thing on the second channel, except instead of opening up um, the audio unit quality sampler, you're going to go right below where it says multi-bus audio unit instances. Boom, Koala. If you tried to open it up here, you wouldn't see it there. For some reason, um, it does, just doesn't open up up there. So basically you want it to look like this. Um, Next, what you're going to do is down at the bottom of channel two, it says headphone output. You're going to click and hold, replace, and we're going to do a mix bus. Let's just do mix bus K for Koala. Um, and then up back on channel one up here for the audio source. Oops, sorry. Mix bus K. So now it's pretty much set up. Um, a couple more things you have to do inside Koala, so let's open up Koala. Um, you're going to want to hit this uh, headphone button on, it's for monitoring audio. Now you're set up to resample back into Koala. Um, with any AUV3, sorry it's my dog, Millie, Millie, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, with any AUV3 effects, which are going to go on channel two. Um, but first, you're going to need some sounds. So let's just open up some random sounds. Sounds. Um, actually, sound effects. We'll do something from here. We're just going to pick some random, some random stuff. good enough just to show you what we're doing let's get some I don't want to use any of those 
Um, basics, koala kits. Let's grab some sounds out of here. I'm not a huge fan of all the sounds here, but oops, what was that? Let me take that one. I should have set this up earlier. Okay. So like I said, the only reason that you're even hearing these sounds right now is because the monitoring headphone thing is on. Turn that off. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake there. Let's rewind. What you're going to want to do for any sounds that you want to go through the effects. Let's say we're going to put all these in. You're going to go up here to where it says channel and change these to channel 2. There we go. So now we turn off the headphones. You're not going to be able to hear any of these, even though they're playing. Um, it's because they're routing over here and with the mon headphone monitoring off, it has nowhere to go. So turn those on. So let's record a quick beat. Basically. Kind of a crappy beat, but Not the best beat at all, but whatever. I'm just showing you guys the workflow. Now I got these sounds up here. So let's um, see what we can make out of that. Sounds crappy here, but let's go over here and throw some AV3 effects on. So you want to double click channel two, and then go into your library and whatever you got, which I definitely have a lot. I've spent way too much money on this kind of stuff. I have to say, I should have done my research before. I just kind of been hitting the trigger on anything that sounds cool. And a lot of them are worth it, but some of them aren't. <laughs> um, let's pick this one. And then, oh, let's just see what, the, what that does. Nothing. I don't know why that's not working. It's weird now it is.
idea, right? Um, audio is routing from channel one over into channel two where you have an A, B, through effect. It's coming right back into Koala and you can record now the audio that's coming back in. So we'll just do that. Now we've got that as an audio you can uh, edit. Let's throw the drums in there too. Let's see uh, what that sounds like. Definitely get some interesting sounds. sounding good. I want to show you an example of um, how this is done, actually done, um, how this actually worked well for me. So I'm opening up one of my recent songs right here. And so, where'd it go? Oh, error. Okay. I swear, I've this iPad is just packed full of stuff and it's, it's almost to the brim where I don't really have a lot of space left. I'm gonna have to go through and clean some stuff out, but I'm gonna show you just a quick example of what I've done. So you take this main melody that I made here. So I threw that um, through some AUV3 effects in AUM and was able to resample it to make some just different sounds like right here I'll show you as you can tell it's the same sound just affected and so that all came from that original sample And laying it out throughout a whole song made some really interesting, nice sounds. Um, uh, this is a song that I just released called Ghosts, um, which you can hear it. But I'll just show you really quick just a few of the sequences. Here's the original. Going to the next one that has an affected one. You get the idea. Um, if you want to check out that song, it's on my Bandcamp. Um, I've mixed it a lot down a lot better. It sounds better than that. But um, yeah, that's basically my workflow. That's how you can get some really interesting sounds in the Koala. Um, 
definitely message me if you have any more questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, I know this wasn't the best video, but um, I'm hope hopefully that'll show you um, something new you can do with Koala um, that really opens a lot of doors. So, um, yeah, everybody, thank you for checking this out. And, yeah, keep making music. Bye.